next example that we are going to see is a discrete metric space okay uh, after proving this is a metric on any set we can say with this metric any set becomes a discrete metric space in order to define a discrete metric space we don't need a specific set we must have any non empty set that is enough right uh, now we have to prove this is a metric we have to prove what the non identity okay in order to prove the non identity you just look at the definition what is given if two entries are different we get one okay if the two entries are same we get zero in that case the value of this d is either 1 or 0 so it is true and what we have to say we have to say the second thing that is d of x and y is 0 d of x and y is 0 only if x and y are same and if x and y are same it is defined to be 0 from the definition the first condition is verified right what is the second condition d of x and y must be same as d of y and x if in this x and y are different means we don't need to worry whether this x has any order relation or what kind of elements does it have it has numbers or it is a finite set or an infinite set we don't need to bother about anything if these two are different we will get one if these two are same we will get zero if these two are different we are going to get same right what is bothering if we write x d of x y or d of y x it is going to be one if they are different and zero if they are same right second condition is also satisfied okay the third one here comes the uh, the main part of this proving okay d of x and y what can be the value of this d of x and y it is either 1 or 0 right okay let me find this one as well what can it be it can be either 1 or 0 the same here right okay in this case we will have four things if x and is it the same then we will have zero okay that is what i am trying to say here is this is the case this is one case this is the third case and this is the fourth case in this case what will we get we will get zero plus zero okay in this case we will get 0 plus 1 in this case we will get 1 plus 0 in this case we will get 1 plus 1 okay in these cases what will be the value of this we have assumed x and z are same and z and y are same in this case x and y are same therefore we will get 0 and in this case we have assumed x and z are same but z and y are different which means x and y are different we will get 1 here also the same applies in the reverse way here also we are going to get 1 here x and z are different and z and y are different okay and this may lead you in two ways z is different from x and y but you don't have any guarantee that x and y are different in that case if x and y are same you will get 0 or if they are different you will get 1 now you can compare these results 0 is equal to 0 1 is equal to 1 1 is equal to 1 0 is lesser than 2 1 is also lesser than 2 combining all these things you will have either this is lesser or equals to that value and this proves all the three conditions to say this is a metric hence this is the metric and with this metric any non empty set becomes a metric space and that metric space is called a discrete metric space